Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 21st to October 27th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Taurus, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested keep in mind roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings all right let's see your energy spirit angels and guys please show me the energy of taurus in regards to love for this week thank you spirit here we go What's the energy of Taurus in regards to love for this week, Taurus? All right, Taurus, first card we have here is, oh, we have the devil. Okay. We also have the six of swords. And we also have the nine of swords. At the bottom of the deck, page of pentacles. To the justice card to the three of swords and also the king of cups okay all right let's see what's going on here So, Taurus, I am getting your energy coming from the Justice card. So, I do feel like um, you made a decision in the past. Yeah, you made a decision in the past to remove yourself and walk away from a person, a connection, a relationship. Um, due to some sort of betrayal or um, something that hurt you, something that uh, you felt was unforgivable. Yeah, something that you felt was unforgivable. Something that you felt wasn't fair. And basically wasn't good for you. So you made the logical and practical decision to remove yourself from something that wasn't serving you, wasn't serving um, your highest good, or wasn't in your best interest. Mm. With the devil card, you also might have felt like um, this situation was a toxic situation, um, an unstable situation, an un unhealthy situation. Yeah, some of you felt like you had no choice with the Nine of Swords. Um, it was causing you too much grief, too much uh, turmoil. Too much, you know, um, heartache, stress. Yeah, so you felt like you had no choice. You, you didn't see another way out except to simply break up with this person and, and separate from them. Um, that's, the only, that's the only way out you could see or that's the only solution you could see for your problem. Now with the Page of Pentacles, I do feel like um, this person that you decided to um, turn your back to, um, I am seeing this person extending themselves out to you. Uh, 
either this has already happened or this is going to be happening now for some of you it could be a water sign person uh, with the king of cups male or female doesn't matter the gender uh, could be a cancer pisces or scorpio doesn't have to be though we also have capricorn here uh, virgo taurus libra energy okay yeah so the king of cups with the three of cups and the ace of cups um, i'm definitely seeing the energy of someone who wants to make amends with you heal the sorry heal the relationship with you and basically um reconnect with you all right let's clarify this energy and let's see what's going on here let's see all right i want to clarify the Six of Swords, Justice, and the Three of Swords. Tell me about this energy spirit, please. Six of Swords, Justice, and Three of Swords. All right. So we, okay, we do have the Strength card here. And we also have the Queen of Cups here. And we have the Four of Wands. Okay. Hmm. So with the Queen of Cups and the Strength card, this is definitely telling me, Taurus, that you, um, you gave it your all to this person, to this connection, to this relationship. You know, to, to the future that you wanted with this person, to the relationship that you wanted with this person, that you wanted to create or to manifest. Um, this is telling me that you gave it your all. You did your best. Um, this is also telling me that you showed up in this relationship as a very loyal person, as a very devoted person, a very committed person. Um... <laughs> It's not easy for you to give your love away to someone, but I do feel like when you do give your love to someone, you do, you do give it your all. Like when you love, you love hard and you love unconditionally and you're very loyal. But I am getting that, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy to... To get, to get through your tough exterior. Because I feel like you have a little bit of a tough exterior. So it's not easy to get through your tough exterior. But once um, someone does get through that tough exterior, you are someone who is extremely uh, loving and affectionate and very devoted to the person that you're with. And to the relationship that you have with them. So I do feel like this is what you did here. I do feel like you, you trusted this person, you gave them the benefit of the doubt, and you invested yourself in, in this relationship. Um, but with the Justice card and the Three of Swords, this is basically telling me that something wasn't reciprocated here. That's, that's what that's telling me. Something was not reciprocated. Yeah. This person wasn't returning back what you were giving. Tell me about the Nine of Swords to the Devil Spirit, please. Nine of Swords to the Devil. All 
All right, so we do have the Emperor. Uh oh. I feel like I feel like this person instead of focusing on creating um, a fair and equal relationship with you, they were focusing more on um, controlling you and manipulating you. Is what I'm getting here. Tell me about the devil to the nine of swords. Yeah, taking advantage of you. I feel like taking advantage of your kindness, of your, um, of your vulnerabilities. Tell me about the devil. Knows. Yeah, ace of wands. There's a very sexual energy connected to this person. We do have the devil here with the um, the devil with the ace of wands and the emperor. So um, it kind of looks like while you were trying to create and develop um, an emotional connection with this person, this per um, this person was more interested in having a superficial connection with you a physical connection i also want to say, i also want to say a sexual connection yeah i'm definitely getting that all right let's look at their energy over here I am getting kind of like a user energy coming from them. A user energy. Huh. All right, Spirit, what can you tell me about this um, King of Cups, Three of Cups with the Ace of Cups, please? so we do have the king of swords hmm. and we do have the tower card with the six of pentacles this person has a lot of walls is what I'm noticing here uh, king of cups here with the king of pentacles Three of Cups to the Ace of Cups to the Five of Pentacles. So I am noticing that this person has a lot of walls. Um, this is this is someone who's very, very guarded, emotionally guarded, emotionally defensive. Um, they don't trust anyone. They don't trust anyone at all. They do have emotions. <clears throat> they do have emotions. Um, they do have feelings, but they don't trust anyone at all. They don't trust you and they don't trust anyone. So they definitely um, have their, they definitely have their emotions and their feelings locked up. You know, locked up in a cage. They don't want anyone to see that side of them. They prefer not to connect to that side of them as well. They don't operate from a place of heart. They operate from a place of ego. And this is a, a self-defense mechanism that basically this, this person has adopted. Yeah. 
this person intentionally um, creates superficial connections and relationships with people because it, because they don't want to embrace um, the emotional side of themselves. They don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to um, be weak. So they keep their emotions and their feelings hidden and, and locked up. And I am noticing this person is very stubborn and very fixed in their ways. They look at you the same way that they look at everybody else, you know, in their mind, they, they feel like everyone's the same. That's what they feel. That's what they think. Everyone is the same. Nobody is different. I'm definitely getting, um, a lot of, uh, baggage um, that this person is carrying from their past. A lot of um, projection energy. This person projects their past onto people. Yeah, lots of projection energy here. Okay. So, Taurus, I'm going to um, stop the reading here. Uh, like I said, we do have the Page of Pentacles, so I do see them um, extending themselves out to you, okay? All right, so I'm going to stop the reading here, and I'm going to continue in the extended. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, their true and real intentions with you, what actions will they take towards you moving forward, and what will the overall outcome be for this relationship. If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.